Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully created a component that is nothing but postdetailcomponent.ts file. Now, if you try to observe this postdetailcomponent.ts file, so this component is heavy, is dependent on the three dependencies. That is nothing but first one is an activated route, second one is the post service, and the last one is the location. So this location is imported from the Angular common. So you need to remember this one. Now we need to write the test cases for this one post detail component which is having an activated route. So like this if you are having dependencies like activated route or something like that. So how can we resolve this one? Let's try to see this one. Here let's go to this post component post detail component aspect.ts file. Here already they have given some template of the test file. What they have given? So post detail component and they have created a test bed. And in this before each, they are creating a create component, component instance, and they are checking the changes. That's it, right? So these are the two things only they are, they are these, these things only we, they have implemented. So this we already know. Let's try to implement from first onwards. So let's try to do describe post detail component. Okay. So now here we are having a method, and now here we will be using this before each. Thing which will be executed for every test case before it executing. Now in this before each, what we need to do? We need to create a test bed. So test bed dot configure testing module. So in this testing module, we are testing the component that is nothing but post detail component. So let's try to write declarations. In this declarations, I will create post detail component. That's it. So now in order to get the instance of this post detail component, as we already discussed that. It is heavily dependent, it is not heavily, it is dependent on the activated route, post service and location. So now what we need to do here, we need to create the mock, mock, for, mock, mock methods for this activated route, post service and the location. So in this way, we can resolve the dependencies for this post detail components. So let's try to implement here. Now what I can do here, we will be having something like three dependencies that is let mock activated route okay and another one is mock dot activated route now another one is mock post service now another one is mock location these are the two things now these are the three things now here mock activated route let's try to see it afterwards first mock post service now in order to create a spy object for this mock post service let's see what are the methods that are going that are implemented in for this post service in the post detail component if you try to see here get post and update post are the two methods that are implemented from the post service if you create these two methods mock methods it will be sufficient right let's try to implement here here i will write jasmine dot create spy object okay of so those two methods are nothing but get post and also update post that's it sorry update oh update post now another one is the mock location that means location so if you try to see here we are having a location in this location service what is the method that we are that we have implemented in this component only one method that is back method let's try to implement that one also mock location is equal to jasmine dot creates by object of and I will implement the back method. That's it. These two are pretty straightforward. So for that reason, we have created the spy object for this one. Now, when when it comes to the activated route, so when it comes to this activated route, how we can implement? Let's try to see this activated route. What are the what is the method that we have used for this activated route? If you try to see this activated route, this this route. So this is little bit complex. Why? Because it is having a property snapshot. Inside the snapshot property, it is having another map property that is param map. Inside that param map, it is having a get method, so which takes this one and it returns a string value. Now, in our Im implementing for this pi object for this one is little bit tedious. So what we try to what we can do we can do one method something like I can create an object. So inside this object, what is the first one it is having? It is having a snapshot property, okay? And here again, this is an object. And inside the snapshot property, again it is having a param map. Okay, I will create a param map. And again, this one is an object. And inside this object, what it is having? It is having a get method. Okay, fine. Let's try to implement a get method. So this is a method 
and here I can do like this and this get method always returns a value <coughs> string value so what I can do here I will I can do this hard code something like for the time being I can return a three way three way all the time this param map will return a id of three so that is uh, sufficient for us for testing so let's try to implement like that one. so now we have implemented this mock activated route so this mock activated route is also a spy object and here this one is also spy object we can also use this jasmine.create spy object or otherwise we can also use this mock activated route also so by we, for this mock activated route we cannot spy on this one so for that reason we are spying on this one okay otherwise we need to use the spy on method so no, no need to worry so now what i can do i need to add these all in the providers list so what i can do here let's go into the providers okay so this is an array first one is provide what is that one mock location so let's try to take this mock location and here i need to use use value and sorry this one is a location not mock location location so this location should be imported from the angular common why because i have imported this location from the angular common if you try to see this location is from angular common right so we need to make sure that this provide value this location is also from angular common so this is the one main thing we need to remember and use value here we need to use the mock location so another one is what is that one another one is the post service provide post service so this one is also should be imported here from the post service now i need to use the value use value mock post service okay and the last one is provide provide another one is the activated route so here i need to write the activated here is one activated route and here use value of mock activated route that's it so now we have used these all providers now for creating the instance of this post detail component what is that what is it is uh, what are the dependencies we are having activated route post service and the location right so for all these things we have created a mock thing something like for location mock location for post component and also for the activated route so we have created a mock thing so this is how we will be creating the activated uh, uh, mock mock spy object for the activated route so like this we will be creating now what we can do here using this one so let's create the component so here i can get the fixture okay okay what i can write here fixture is equal to test bed dot create component sorry it has went test bed dot create component of post service so i can create the component here so sorry not post service post detail component right so now we have created a create component now this fixture what is this fixture so this fixture will return a fixture right so now here i can write the let fixture of type component fixture and it is of type post detail component that's it oh sorry so here so we can remove this one that's it now fixture we got the post detail component now we let's try to write the test cases for this one so hope you understood about this one activated route so what we have did we have created a mock object for this snapshot param map like that and we have injected this one by creating the component into the test bed so this is how we will be creating the mock objects for this one so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you